Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to test your aquarium water parameters using API master test kit. So as you can see in this video I have already performed all the water tests that is ammonia test and nitrite test and nitrate test and aquarium water pH test. So I am going to show you how to perform all these tests in this video. So let's start with the ammonia test. To perform the ammonia test using API master test kit, API master test kit comes with two ammonia testing solution bottles. To perform the ammonia test, you will need to first of all fill up the provided test tube with 5 ml of your aquarium water. So as you can see, this test tube has a marking up to which you will need to fill up the test tube with your aquarium water. Now one thing to note here is that you need to be very accurate with it. Just try to be as accurate as you can with filling up the test tube with your aquarium water. You could use a pipette to fill up your test tube with water for high accuracy. Once you have filled the test tube up to 5 ml water marking, then you will need to add 8 drops of solution number 1 into the test tube. Now here you should hold the bottle straight upside down so that all the drops are identical. This is very important for accuracy of the test results. Once you have added the 8 drops of the first solution, then you will need to add 8 drops of solution bottle number 2. Now you will need to cap the test tube with the provided cap and shake the test tube rigorously for at least 5 seconds. I would recommend you to shake the test tube for more than 5 seconds just for good measures. And one thing I would like to tell you is that if you are struggling to open the cap of the solution bottles then basically the trick here is that you will need to push the cap downwards and then spin the cap to open it. It is kind of a safety thing they have done with the bottle. So just push the cap of the bottle a little bit and then spin it to open the cap of the solution bottles. After shaking the test tube for at least 5 seconds, you should let the test tube sit for a while for at least 5 minutes for the color to develop. After 5 minutes, you will need to hold the test tube against the provided color chart you will get the color chart along with the test kit. So just hold the test tube against the color chart on the white part of the chart and basically see or try to match the color of the water in the test tube to the color shades given for ammonia. Ideally, your fish tank should not contain any ammonia. So ideally, the color should be yellowish to a slight greenish color. So as you can see, the color of the water in my test tube is yellowish to slightly greenish. So it is safe to assume that my aquarium water contains 0 ppm ammonia. The second test we are going to perform is nitrate test. So to perform this test, first of all we will need to take or fill up the provided test tube with 5 ml of your aquarium water. Once you have filled the test tube with 5 ml aquarium water, then you will need to add 5 drops of nitrite test solution into the test tube. Now you will need to cap the test tube and shake the test tube rigorously for at least 5 seconds. Now you will need to keep the test tube aside and basically let it sit for at least 5 minutes for the color to develop. After 5 minutes, hold the test tube against the provided color chart for nitrate. Ideally, your aquarium should not have any nitrate. So as you can see in the video, the color of my test tube is kind of sky blue color which suggests that my aquarium has zero nitrite. So this is what you should be aiming for or this is what you need in your aquarium ideally. Now let's start the third test and the third test is going to be for nitrate. 
to perform the nitrate test using api master test kit you will need to fill up the provided test tube with 5 ml of your aquarium water now api master test kit comes with two solutions to test the nitrates in your aquarium so first of all you will need to add 10 drops of solution bottle number one into the test tube now again you should hold the solution bottle vertically upside down so that all the drops you are putting into the test tube are similar in size after adding the 10 drops of solution number one you will need to cap the test tube and invert the test tube several times After adding 10 drops of test solution number 1 into the test tube, you will need to add 10 drops of test solution number 2 into the test tube. But before adding the 10 drops of solution number 2, you will first need to shake the nitrate test solution number 2 bottle rigorously for at least 30 seconds. I advise you to shake the bottle for more than 30 seconds just for good measures. Now this step is very important to get accurate test results. After shaking the solution number 2 bottle for 30 seconds, now you will need to add 10 drops of nitrate test solution number 2 into the test tube. After adding the 10 drops, cap the test tube with the provided cap and shake the test tube rigorously for at least 1 minute. After shaking the test tube for at least 1 minute, you will need to let the test tube sit for a while for at least 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, you should hold the test tube against the color chart to check how much nitrates you have in your aquarium. Now as far as how much nitrates your aquarium should contain is concerned, ideally your aquarium should not contain any nitrates. However your fish tank is most likely going to have some nitrates level and most of the fish can tolerate nitrates up to maximum 40 ppm but ideally your fish tank should not have more than 20 ppm nitrates you see when it comes to nitrates the lower the nitrates the better it is for your fish but if the nitrates in your fish tank is more than 40 ppm, then your fish is in real danger. You, you will immediately need to do partial water change to dilute the nitrate levels in your aquarium. Now, as you can see in the video, the nitrates level in my aquarium is around 5 ppm. So at this time, I don't really need to do any partial water change for maybe about a week. I generally do partial water change on a weekly basis to keep the nitrates level low in my aquarium and generally I like to keep the nitrates level around 10 ppm. If I notice that the nitrates in my aquarium is more than 10 ppm, I do water change and basically I have a beta fish tank and basically I only have one beta fish in the aquarium and the aquarium size is around 7.5 gallons. So usually nitrate levels don't build up very quickly in my aquarium. I sometimes do water change once in two weeks because there is not much nitrates in my aquarium so it just doesn't make sense for me to do water change. So here is basically a one tip for you if you hate doing water change. The best thing you can do to do as less water change as you can is to get a bigger fish tank because nitrates will build up very slowly in a large tank. Now let's perform the next water test. So the next water test is going to be for the pH of your aquarium water. Now API master test kit comes with two pH water testing solutions. The first water pH testing solution is to measure the pH of your aquarium water up to 7.6 ppm. And the second pH water testing solution is to test your aquarium water up to 8.8 .8 ppm. Now let's start testing the pH of aquarium water using low pH water testing solution. 
So first of all, you will need to fill up the provided test tube up to 5 ml of your aquarium water. After filling the test tube up to 5 ml of your aquarium water, now you will need to add 3 drops of the low range pH testing solution into the test tube. After that, you will need to cap the test tube and invert the test tube several times. After inverting the test tube, you will notice that the color of the water in the test tube has changed. Now you will need to hold the test tube against the color chart to exactly know how much pH your aquarium water has. So as you can see in the video, the color of the water in the test tube is very dark it is very darker it is darker than the maximum darkness shade which is provided for low range ph so in this case most likely my aquarium water contains more than 7.6 ph and now to know exactly how much ph my aquarium water has i will need to perform water test using high range ph water testing solution which we are going to do now to test your aquarium water using high range pH solution, first of all you will need to fill up the test tube up to 5 ml of your aquarium water. After that you will need to add 5 drops of high range pH testing solution into the test tube. Now again you should hold the dropper bottle upside down in a straight vertical position so that all the drops you are putting in the test tube are of similar size. After putting the drops, you will need to cap the test tube and you will need to invert the test tube several times. After inverting the test tube several times, you will most likely notice that the color of the water in the test tube has changed. Now you will need to hold the test tube against the color chart provided to measure the high range pH. This will give you accurate reading of how much exactly pH your aquarium water has. So this is how you can test your aquarium water for ammonia, nitrite, nitrate and pH using API master test kit. I hope you found the video helpful. If you do, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Also, please let me know if you have any questions regarding using API master test kit. Besides, I will put a link to purchase API master test kit from Amazon in the description down below. Thanks for watching.